barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Keep going. From up here, we may be able to see which way to go to get home. Can't you do something about your little brother? He's not bothering anyone. He's bothering me. I'm trying to think of a way to get us out of this freaky place and back home. If there is a way home. Don't worry. There is, and we'll find it. I hope. Come on, Uni. You try. charging off like that. Aw, oh, sis, I could have handled her. Sheesh, I don't blame Vinger for being scared of that dragon. Nice maneuver, pupil. Dungeon Master. Uh -huh. Where did you come from? Oh, someplace between there and here. Listen, I've had it with your riddles. Now give us a straight answer for once. How do we get out of this world? Patience, Cavalier. All things have a purpose including your presence here. Hmm. Tonight is the celebration in the village of Helix. You will journey to the north for it. There you may find something that will help you get back home. Helix was once at the mercy of flying dragons who attacked at night, but good magic drove them away. Now, on your way, you must fear only the many faces of evil, all known as Venger. You shall know his newest face by his white hair. Beware, young adventurers. Wait, Dungeon Master, you can't just leave us. Huh? <laughs> He's gone! Wow! I hate it when he does that. I think it's neat. I'm worried. Sheila, you're always worried. It's simple. The man said go north. We, we should, should go, go north. north. Diana's right. It's the only clue we have to a way home. We have to try it. All this walking has been a waste of time. I'd trade anything for Dad's limousine right now. I'd trade your Dad's limousine for a peanut butter and banana sandwich right now. I'm hungry too, Bobby. Leave it to me. I'll produce some magic burgers. The last time you tried this, we wound up with live turkeys. Can I help it if my hat thought it was Thanksgiving? Abra, come here! Magic burgers appear! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Presto, I kind of like my burgers a little more well done than that. Very funny. Let's keep walking. There's got to be something out here. Mm. 
nice cow. According to this, we're somewhere near Merlin's castle. Oh, right! Merlin the magician! He's supposed to be able to work miracles! According to legend, Merlin can do anything. Even get us home? If Merlin can't, no one can. Huh? Merlin's castle that way? But that's the way we just came. We couldn't have missed it. Not a whole castle. Well, according to these signs, it should be right here. I don't get it. I do. We forgot to look up. Wow! He lives in a castle in the sky? Where'd you expect Merlin to live? Well, before Merlin can help us get home, someone's going to have to help us get to Merlin. Hey, look! A ladder! Everyone, follow me. Finally, we're going to meet a real wizard. Face it, Uni. As a wizard, I'm no wizard. folks have a place just like this in the mountains. Wish I was there. Sometimes we wish you were there too, Eric. Remember what the dungeon master said about Benjamin. We should recognize him by his white hair. Drawbridge is up! Hello! Can't you just swim across the moat? Well, maybe you'd like to try. Oh, oh, no, no thanks. I've never cared much for skydiving. This looks like my department. <laughs> She made it! Hello? Is anyone here? I am here. Tell me, Ranger, what brings you here? You know me? He's Merlin. He knows everyone. Well, we're headed for the town of Helix. Look, he has white hair. Would that I did, young lady. I am a great magician, but the one thing I cannot do is grow hair. Sorry, Merlin. We were warned that an enemy of ours... Just ask him about getting us home. No need. I already know. You seek a way back to your birth world. Come. Many great spells have been cast in this hall. Wow! I cannot grant you the way back. You can't? Oh, great! But I can tell you where you are headed. Many years ago, the land of Helix fought back against one who would conquer them. The defeated conqueror vowed vengeance. Dungeon Master told us this already. Bobby, shh. Yes, but he did not tell you that one year Merlin appeared, cast a spell, and his good magic drove out evil. The dragons were gone forever. Ah, oh, brother. And every year, Helix celebrates the defeat of the Winged Terrors. Hey, great story there, you know, but I didn't come to listen to fairy tales. Now, if you're not gonna help us get home, I'm leaving. <gasps> on, on second thought, Oh, no. It's Tiamat. Back for seconds, eh, dragon? Bobby! You don't scare me. This time you'll not escape me. Now that's magic. Quickly, we must leave. I'll keep her busy. Get going! This way, everyone! there the dungeon no escape everyone help me <sighs> okay 
Presto, see if you can conjure up a carpet. A carpet? Whatever you say. Perfect! I did it! Hey, Dragon Breath! You looking for somebody? Now that's what I call teamwork! Let's get out of here! Oh, Merlin, here's your rabbit. Thank you, my child. But it's not a rabbit, it's a hare. A white hare. You saved an old magician's life. Saved your life? I thought you were supposed to live forever. No, no. I'm 70 years young, my lad. The age where I begin searching for one to teach my secrets to. One like this one. That one? Me? Indeed. I saw your wizardry and was quite impressed. I can teach you all my magic, but only if you stay here for the rest of your life. Gee. Listen, if Merlin's not gonna help us get home, I say we shove off for that Helix place, huh? Eric, we have to wait for Presto. You don't think Presto would stay with Merlin, do you? No way. Presto would never leave us. Farewell. Your friend has decided to stay and become my apprentice. He's going to stay? Forever? Presto, are you sure? Uh, I'm sure. I can't believe it. It's our fault, you know, always making fun of him when his magic tricks backfired. Assistant, I need you. Later, we shall have to deal with the dragon you locked in my dungeon. Deal with the dragon? How? The answers to all questions are contained in this book. Stir the cauldron until I return. Yeah, sure. Answer to all questions? It's gotta be in here someplace. A spell to get us all home. This is it. Let's see. Boiled bat's claws, powdered insect wings, petrified spider eyeballs. Yuck! <laughs> Get us home. Merlin, help! <laughs> Merlin! Merlin! Where are you? <laughs> Merlin, I didn't mean to do it. I'm, I'm really sorry. So, you were trying to create a spell that would get you and your friends back home, correct? Yes, yes, and I'm sorry. But the dragons! Ah, yes. The dragons. I switched the spells. Only good magic could undo Merlin's spell and release the dragons. So I had to trick you into undoing Merlin's spell. But you're Merlin, aren't you? Merlin hasn't lived for a thousand years. Fool! You know me as Vengeance! the magic of your hat to add to my power as my winged terrors destroy the town of Helix. The anniversary of the last time the dragons attacked is now our greatest holiday. We were sent here to find a clue to help us get home. In the meantime, though, your friends seem to be enjoying our celebration. I can see great wealth in your future. And in the future, I see... Oh, no! No! What is it? The dragons! The dragons are coming back! I still don't know why we were sent here, Mayor, but at least we got to meet Merlin on the way. How could you? Merlin died a thousand years ago, soon after casting a spell that vanquished Venger's flying dragons. Merlin died? But we met him, and he said he was only 70. Mayor! Mayor! I saw them! The dragons are returning! Sound the alarm. Take shelter. We have to go back and get Merlin to help. I don't think that guy we met was Merlin. But he looked like Merlin, standing there stroking his white rabbit. Not his rabbit, his hair. 
His white hair! Dungeon Master said we'd know Venger by his white hair. We thought he meant hair like on his head. Yeah. Then Presto is alone with Venger. We've got to save him. And find out how to stop these dragons. Let's find Bobby and Eric. Clear the town square! Evacuate the village! Hurry! Mayor, I think I know how to stop the dragons, but we'll need horses. In the stables! That way! Not the worst of it. The legend says the final assault will come soon and our town will be completely destroyed. Venture must have reversed Merlin's spell. The one that kept the dragons away. Right, and we've got to put that spell back. Look at that hole in the castle. I sure hope Presto's okay. Boy, I really blew it. Some wizard. Presto! Hank! Am I glad to see you? Merlin's not Merlin. He's Venger. He stole my hat and all my powers. Worse, he tricked me into undoing Merlin's spell. The town of Helix is being destroyed right now. You've got to cast Merlin's spell again. Me? I'm no Merlin. And you will not cast another spell tonight. I have the wizard's hat. Hand over the rest of your objects of power. <laughs> We can't do that, Venger. You have no choice. Bobby, use your club. Whatever you say, Hank. Hey, I got him. That won't hold him long. Let's go. What do we do? Try to keep away from Venger while Presto works on Merlin's spell. We've got to put out these torches. Let me give it a try. You cannot escape! Wait! I know where Merlin's spellbook is! Presto and I will make a run for it while you four try and keep him busy! Keep him busy? What are we supposed to do? Tell him jokes? Eric! Diana! I've got an idea! This had better be one terrific idea! I don't know if I could do this, Hank. I mess up every magic trick I try. You can do it, Presto. We've got to stop the dragons before they destroy Helix. This game is ended. It is time I eliminated you once and for all. Remember the one thing that Bender's afraid of? Tiamat the dragon! Tiamat the dragon? You're gonna let the dragon loose? Don't we have enough problems? Eric, stop talking and start helping. I don't believe this. I will add your magic to mine and then destroy you and your meddlesome friends. Stay away from me, dragon! Let's get out of here! You have won for now, but I shall win in the end! Presto, hurry! There's still time to save Helix, but not much. Okay, here goes nothing. In the name of Merlin, in the time of sorrow, banish winged demons. Let there be tomorrow! I knew it wouldn't work. But the dragons are disappearing. You did it, Presto! I did? Yeah, I did! I only stayed with Merlin because I thought I could find a way to get us home. We understand, Presto. Look, the ladder's disappearing. That's not all. Merlin's whole castle is floating away. Now I'll never get my magic hat back. I wouldn't say that. Lose this, wizard? My hat. Hey, everybody. I'm back in the magic business. Oh, great. 
Listen, Dungeon Master, while you're returning things, how about returning us to... He did it again! <laughs> I'll never be that good a magician. Well, I know a place where they think you're as good as Merlin himself. Yeah, Helix! That's right, Presto. In Helix, you're a hero. I am? And let's go. Climb aboard, Eric. Are you kidding? I don't ride with anyone else. I want a steed of my own. Presto, would you produce something for Eric to ride on? Sure. <laughs> what? I'm not riding on any cow. No way. I don't ride anything that gives milk. Hey, come back here. Who asked you? It must be 120 degrees in the shade, and there isn't any shade. You can say that again. With four sons up there, what'd you guys expect? <laughs> I faced the same situation on safari once. I was lost. The sun was baking my brains. So that's what happened to your brains. Shh! Then what you do, Eric? Simple. Call Dad on the walkie-talkie and our gardener picked me up in the golf cart. In Africa? No, in my backyard. Listen, Dungeon Master told us to keep moving toward the setting suns, and that means this way. <laughs> Dungeon Master? We haven't seen that bozo for two days. I say we go any way we want to. Okay, wise guy. Which way shall we go? Huh? Oh, well, I say we go. Yeah! Uh, look! Yeah! Oh, that's the biggest bug I've ever seen! You can say that again! There's no time! Run! A scorpion? A catching up? Faster? Sounds like trouble! Many gallons! Phew, that was a close one! Quick! Get in here! That scorpion's too big to come in after us! Into. No telling. Ah! Dungeon Master! Do you always have to do that? No, not always. Huh? I have found a possible way for you to get home, but it is very dangerous. What isn't dangerous around here? Go on, Dungeon Master. Far to the east, there is a sad and desolate land. It is known as the Valley of the Beholder. Yuck! It looks horrible! 
It wasn't always so. It was once the most beautiful valley in the realm. Until the Beholder came. What is a Beholder, anyway? The Beholder is a foul and evil beast who came up from the underworld and destroyed all things of beauty in the valley. Oh, gross. I can't even see all of it and I can tell it's gross. It is the Beholder who guards the passageway to your birth world. You mean we have to meet this ugly guy? Not just meet him. You must defeat him. And remember, sometimes by looking back, you can see a clearer path through what lies ahead. Oh, brother, here he goes again. But beware, for only beauty can defeat the eye of the Beholder. Aw, oh, give me a break. Well, he's gone! <laughs> What you doing, Bobby? What Dungeon Master said. Trying to look backwards to see forward. <laughs> but all I see is the place where we met that night. Sir John. Yeah, well, sometimes Dungeon Master... Wait! That's it! <laughs> Sir John is in our past, but he may be the key to our future. That's right. Anybody brave enough to take on that scorpion ought to have an easy time with the Beholder. Great! For once, somebody else can fight the creepy slime that inhabits this world. He went this way! Well, let's find him. And so, Sir John, it is the decision of this council that a cowardly knight such as you offers this village no protection. But, sir, I... And it is our intention to hire a new and braver knight to replace you as soon as one can be found. Oh, Father, not again. There are no villages left for us to go to. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, sir, will you not uh, reconsider? I mean, my boy and I, it's just that we... Well, I suppose if you were to perform an act of extreme bravery, finally, we might consider letting you stay. Oh, he will, Mr. Mayor, he will. Yes, I, I will. I uh, be brave, that is. This is your last chance, Sir John. Your last chance! You can do it, Father. I know you can. Boy, I don't think I'll ever eat mushrooms again. I don't think you could eat these mushrooms, Eric. This place gives me goosebumps. Just stick together. Yeah, no telling what we might run into. What's that? I don't know, but it didn't sound friendly. For once, I agree with you, Uni. Presto! How about using your magic to throw a little light on the subject? Light? No problem. Piece of cake. Please. <laughs> Ew, who are they? Not who. What are they? Well, whatever they are, the light hurts their eyes. No. It's a... a chew. Oh, no. No. If it's light we need, it's light we'll get. Oh, oh, it's you. And where are 
your friends. <gasps> what? Me? Go with you? Oh, that's impossible. You see, I have uh, I have to perform a brave act. Hey! I say, come back with my torch! Don't leave me here, alone, in the dark! <laughs> Good girl, Uni. Look, it's Sir John. He drove away those snail things. I knew you'd come to save us, Sir John. What? Oh, uh, yes. Here. We don't have much, but please accept this flower as a sign of our thanks. But I... Uh, well, thank you for bestowing such a great honor on an old knight, my lady. Actually, Sir John, you saved us the trouble of coming to find you. Find me? What for? Well, we... Ah, uh, we, we want you to take us to the Beholder. Uh, the Beholder? Th th that would require great bravery. That's why we want you, Sir John. Right. You're the bravest man we've met since we've been in this world. I, I am? Well, uh, of course, but... Uh, Great, then you'll do it. What? Uh, uh, well, uh, but first, I I'll have to go back and uh, uh, get my shield. Wait! Presto can conjure you up a shield. Uh, powers of magic that come with the dawn. Uh, make up a shield for Brave Sir John. Uh! Sorry. Here you go, Sir John. Your very own uh, shield. Well, I, I couldn't. That is, I mean, I thank you, but now will you take us to the Beholder? Please, Sir John. It's our only chance to get back to our world. What do you mean? Never mind. It's a long story. We'll, we'll tell you on the way. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, to the Beholder it is. Beholder, indeed. I must be crazy. Nice beholder. Here, boy. Sir John. What? Oh, I, I mean, what is it, my boy? Don't you think we should have a plan? Uh, a plan? Uh, well, yes. Yes, good idea. A plan. You think of one while uh, I scout ahead. What? You're the knight. That's stupid. Uh, well, uh, a, a plan won't do us any good if uh, if the beholder surprises us, now will it? Uh, uh, you make a plan, and uh, I'll make sure that it works. Yes, that, that it works. I think this guy's nuttier than a fruitcake. I can't face the beholder. Yet if I don't, my boy and I will be sent away. What am I going to do? You are going to do exactly as you're told. Revenger! You will escort those children to the Beholder as they wish, and then you will leave them there. What? I am a coward, but those children... With the Beholder? I, I can't. I won't. You will, Sir John. Coward. When you have done as I've ordered, your son will be returned to you. <laughs> Sir John, there is little time to waste. I don't care what you guys say. I think Sir John is scared. All right. I hope your plan is ready, uh, because the Beholder uh, awaits. Let's go! Uh, all right! He doesn't sound so scared to me, Mr. Know-it-all. Well, if you ask me... We didn't, Eric. We didn't. Come on. This place is awful. No. I don't see how anything can live here. Nothing does for long. The Beholder lies just beyond this passage. 
Well, if it's guarding the gateway home, we have to face it. Let's go. Best of luck. I, I must be on my way now. Hold it a minute, sir, pal. You said you'd go with us to the Beholder. Ah. And I have. Uh, I never said I'd fight him. The rest is up to you. But, Sir John, we thought... I thought you were a brave knight. Yeah! Yes, I, I know. Come on, gang. At least he got us here. Some fearless knight. What a chicken! If he was any more chicken, he'd sprout drumsticks. Oh! What's that? That must be the Beholder. deed I've ever done. What kind of knight am I? You are a coward, Sir John, as you have always been. A weakling and a fool. Vinger! Soon, the Beholder will defeat the young ones, and I will have their magical weapons. But my boy, what about my boy? Your son is here. <laughs> He is a brave boy, not at all like his father. What did he mean, Father? Nothing, son. Nothing at all. Help! Help! Somebody help us! Listen, Father. Someone needs our help. Timothy, wait! Come back! Help! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I hate this world! Help. First walking snails, and now an electric octopus. Presto, can't you do anything? I can't reach my hat. Father, look! It's Sir John. I thought I smelled chicken feathers. Don't worry. Father will help you. Poor kid. This is going to be a disappointing day for him. Timothy, step back. I've got work to do. I don't believe it. Neither does the beholder. Look! This quickly, Beholder! I don't get it. How did Dungeon Master think Beauty could defeat the Beholder? That's it! The flower! Sir John! The flower I gave you! Show the Beholder the flower! The flower? Where's the flower? Aha! Quick! The doorway's closing! Oh, what about Uni? She doesn't belong in our world. She'll have to stay with Sir John. Hurry! But I don't want to leave her here with anybody. Not even him! Hey, look! Venger! You have disobeyed me for the first and the last time, Sir John. Stay close to me, Timothy. He's using my dopey shield to fight Venger. Oh. Hank, what can we do? Boy, I can almost taste those hamburgers. Huh? Hey, what are you guys waiting for? Come on! And now, to be rid of you, Sir John. <laughs> Once and for all. So easy after all, Venger. Yeah! Watch this. This is called a rescue, Venger. A rescue? I don't believe what I'm seeing. Pal. 
thanks. But now what? <laughs> wow, that was great. But how did you... I didn't. But then who did? What happened? How can we ever thank you? Well, why don't we just call it even, Sir John? thought you were scared, Sir John. All right, all right, so I was wrong. Come on, Eric, admit it. Even you were scared. Me? Nothing doing. It takes a lot more than the beholder to scare me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again, Cavalier. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Something's wrong with my energy bow. I'll take care of them. Oh no! My batteries are dead. Quick, under my shield. <laughs> They'll never break through this. Huh? Maybe your batteries are dead. If we don't get out of here, our batteries won't be the only thing that's dead. Run! I hope my suit doesn't rust. I hope those ugly things don't come after us again. Where did those things come from anyway? And what's wrong with our weapons? This must have been Venger's work. Well, let's get out of here before he starts working overtime. The simian bats have failed, Highness. Even they could not take the enchanted weapons from the young intruders. Fools! Enough! I will deal with them myself. Whatever they are, these things sure look good. <laughs> Why did our weapons lose their power? I'm worried. You have good reason to be. Huh? Dungeon Master! Your weapons have failed? Yeah! One minute I'm knocking down trees, then poof! My club just fizzled out! I was afraid of this. The mystic energy that powers your weapons is fading. Batteries? Bobby, our weapons don't have batteries. Your weapons must be recharged. See, I told you, dead batteries! Uh, uh, uh. Recharged? But where? 
high in the mountains in a place called the Hall of Bones. The Hall of Bones? That sounds neat. That sounds horrible. A gigantic tomb filled with the remains of this land's greatest warriors. Oh, great, a cemetery. Inside the hall, you will find the skull of power. It will recharge your weapons. How do we find it? There will be someone to guide the way, but they will want payment. And remember, in darkness, look to the light. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Can't you show us the way, Dungeon Master? Dungeon Master? Don't tell me. He's gone! I told you not to tell me. We'd better get going. I'll feel a lot safer when our weapons are recharged. Maybe we can hire a guide here. Hire him? We don't have any money. He's right. Well, fortunately, I have the solution. With my talent, I can perform for the money. Eric, I don't think you should... After all, if this crowd goes gaga over two little dummies, think how they'll react. To one big dummy. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and lords. The great Eric will now entertain you. Hey. <laughs> how, many, how many dwarves does it take to change a light bulb? None! They can't reach it! <laughs> They're not troll enough! <laughs> oh, yuck! Yeah, Say, did you hear the one about the barbarian who was so stupid? No! How stupid was he? Uh, <laughs> He, he, he was so... <coughs> that, that everyone loved him, and he was the smartest guy in the world. <laughs> Presto, do you think you can pull some money out of your hat? Uh, I don't think so. Try! Okay. Try again! Ah, I better quit. Okay. Bravo! Don't stop! Oh, ah, ah, Bravo! Huh? Hey, Presto, you're a hit. And we've got some money. Are you sure about this, Eric? Sure. Guides always hang out in places like this. Remember, Eric, our weapons won't be able to help us if we get into trouble. What trouble? The old cavalier knows what he's doing. <laughs> Eric, don't you think we should at least get a guide that talks human? Hey, our money will talk for us. Anyone interested in a business proposition? <laughs> See, what did I tell you? So long, Eric. It was nice knowing ya. Uh, uh, listen, fellas, we only need one guide. <laughs> uh, of course, three is a nice round number. You'll have to share the fee, though. Uh-oh. Help! Help! Looks like the old Cavalier is in trouble. Can't, can't we discuss this over lunch? Hey, guys, why fight over pennies when you can have all this? Come on! There they go! What are they so mad about? You just gave them a big sack of money. Wrong! We just gave them a big sack of bottle caps. <laughs> you what? Shut up and run! Oh, no! Dead end! Over here, this way. What if she's one of them? Remember what Dungeon Master said? In darkness, look to the light. She's here to help us. This passage leads beneath the town. You'll be safe there. Safe. One of my favorite words. Who are you? Someone.
one sent by a friend of yours. Friend? <laughs> it's a spider's whip! I can't move! And if you could pull free... Venger! Beneath you is a bottomless pit. Now I'll take what's mine. No! No! Hey! Your powers are mine. Your bodies I leave to Loth, demon queen of spiders. Do with them as you will. so we can get out of here. Oh, this is great. Now we're lost in an endless cavern under a world we're already lost in. Come on, Eric. It could be worse. Oh, yeah? How? Well, that's one way. Look, there's a way out. You want us to go out there? You want to stay in here? You're right. The Fender took our weapons. We're defenseless. But at least we're alive. Let's go. Get down! Stay down. It's Tiamat. No, it's Venger. Oh, no, it's both of them. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Tiamat, you have met your master. I have no master. Now where do we go? Stronger than ever. Oh no! He's using our weapons to fight Tiamat. Great! We can use a few less dragons. But our weapons don't work. Great! Then we'll have a few less ventures. And a few less weapons, too. our chance. Quick, we've got to recharge them at the Hall of Bones. But we still don't know how to get there. Come on, we've got to find a guide. So, the Hall of Bones, eh? This is a joke. 
There's been no sign of a town, a guide, or anything else. In something else? You can say that again, but what? Oh, come now. You look as though you've never seen a halfling before. We can't see you now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Hey, Hector the halfling, if you please. And you don't look very pleased. Can I be of service? I doubt it. We're looking for some stupid cemetery. Uh, not the Hall of Bones, perchance. You know where it is? What kind of guide would I be if I didn't? You're a guide? Can you lead us there? Oh, why, of course. Yeah, how much will it cost us? <laughs> well, for the time being, let's say your company shall be my payment. I like his rates. Oh, brother, the not-so-grand canyon. Are we there yet? Yeah. When do we get there? Come on, come on. We're practically there. There's nothing practical about this. Look. Oh, yuck. This is stupid. Hector must have rocks in his head. Come on, Uni, you can do it. What the? Hey! I said rocks in Hector's head, not on my head. <laughs> Come on, this clown doesn't know where he's going. How can you be sure, Eric? Who cares? I say we tell Hector to shove off. Yeah. You said you'd take us to the Hall of Bones. And I have. There it is, my friends. The Hall of Bones. Gnarly! Gnarly! Oh, brother, couldn't we pretend we never found it? Come along, quickly now. This place gives me the creeps. Every place in this world gives you the creeps. The Skull of Power. Legend says that it glows with the power of the heroes who are buried here. Well, what are you waiting for? Hey, Hector wants to get out of here faster than we do. Is it going to eat us? I guess we place our weapons in the skull. for bringing you here. Venger! Hand over your weapons. So you're the guide wanting payment. Indeed. And my payment is due now. No thanks, Venger. Wait! Dungeon Master said, in darkness, look to the light. Quick, everybody, into the skull. This is the light. This is awful. No! Did we do that? I don't know. This battle with Venger is no longer yours. Go. What's happening? I'm not sure. Ah! You dare to challenge me. This is not possible. Within this hall, Venger, our powers are supreme. Are we home? No, 
but we're out of the Hall of Bones. And away from Venger. But not far enough. Let's get out of here. This whole place is falling apart. Keep moving. We don't have any time. source of your power, then you leave me no choice. It's a good thing we got our weapons recharged. Look! Yeah, but the charge only lasts for 300 years. What do you mean, only? What's that? You think they beat Venger? I hope so. Answers your question, Presto. Wow! I wonder where Venger recharges his batteries. I wonder if we're ever gonna get out of here. When the time is right, pupils, you'll find the way. Nothing's wrong. That little twerp is scared of her own shadow. Yuni! Hey! Come back! Don't go in there! We can't go anywhere until I get the rocks out of my shoe. Keep them. Maybe the rocks in your head need company, Eric. <laughs> Enough of this. I want him now. <laughs> A second unicorn. I heard her. Come on, this way. Look, another unicorn. <laughs> And he's in big trouble. Tell your big buddy to relax, Uni. Watch this. <laughs> Presto, that's the dumbest thing I ever... <laughs> Better. This will be much better. Hey, where's Uni? Well, I don't know, but that big unicorn needs help. Did you see that? Pity you are too young to have learned to use your powers. And such a tragedy, you won't have time. <laughs> Recall the others! Get ready, guys! We've got them now! We've got them? What do you think scared them off? Simple, Sheila. They took one look at my great strength, one look at my grim weapon. And one look at your grody face. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's Uni? Those wolves must have chased her into the forest. They went this way. Then we're going that way, too. They went this way. We're going that way. How come nobody ever asked me which way I want to go? 
way, this way is just fine. Even if you knew how, a unicorn can teleport only once a day. Excellent. Your friends are following just as I hoped. Forget it. I'm not playing pincushion just to save some dumb unicorn. Who'd you say is dumb? Now, now, young ones. Yeah, but Eric won't help us save Union. Huh? It's Dungeon Master. Who's that guy with the wolves? Who cares? He's got uni. He is the wizard Kellek. Beware, barbarian. He has much more than the unicorn you love. Ah, oh, that little weirdo won't get away with his riddles this time. I'm writing down every dumb word he says. Well, who's that big unicorn? That was Silvermane, the leader of the last unicorn herd. How'd he disappear like that? His magic horn. It gives him the power of teleportation, like all of his kind. But remember, the fate of one is shared by all. I got it. The fate of the magic. No, no, wait. The horn of portation? No, no. The telephone is shared by all? That's not right. Oh, Dungeon Master, could, could you repeat? Oh, no! Yep, he's gone. Which leaves us with a thorny problem. Oh, yeah! I'll smash through him! I think I have a better idea. Ooh, Hank's got a better idea. Wait, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Things I do for you guys. Stay down and keep quiet. It's okay. I don't think he saw us. The young fools. There, there, little one. It will soon be over. No! She's okay, Bobby. She's okay. But where's she taking her? desire the power of teleportation, the ultimate power over all matter. You shall give a part of it to me, and soon it shall all be mine. All will kneel to Kellick. Even Venger will call me master. That guy's gonna be the new Venger? Not a chance. That guy's cracked. Cracked or not, he's got uni. Let's double back and get down there before... <laughs> find the lost valley of the unicorns. The last three horns shall finally be mine. 
with them the ultimate power, then all shall call me master. Barbarian, you stay with Uni. I'll free the others. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Gee, do we have to let him loose? It's been so nice and quiet without him. <laughs> of all the low-down rotten tricks, this is the quiet! What was that? Let's find out. It's okay, we won't hurt you. <gasps> More unicorns! A whole herd of them. Poor guys. Kellett got your horns, too. And he'll get the rest, too, as soon as he finds that secret valley of the unicorns place. We gotta get there first and warn him. No! I'm not going anywhere till we help Uni. Bobby, this may be the only way we can help her. Well, remember what Dungeon Master said? The fate of one is shared by all. Well, maybe. Oh, I guess. These guys could lead us to the valley, if we can convince them to trust us. <laughs> I think we've got them convinced. That's gratitude for you. And after all we've done for him. Shh, be quiet and don't move. We're not scaring him, they are. Oh, no. Thank you all. I knew those unicorns would lead you here. No, the last three are mine. Don't worry, Uni. We're okay. <laughs> and would you believe who saved us? Eric! Why do you find that difficult to believe, Barbarian? Dungeon Master! Uh, you know, Eric doesn't do anything but complain and... Yeah, who'd have thought he could be brave? People can be many things. Sometimes your worst enemy can be your strongest ally. You writing all this down, Cavalier? I'll give you something to write down. Get me out of here! There it is. Kellogg's probably there already. Come on, there isn't much time. Yeah, and soon he'll be even stronger than... Venger. Hey, am I brilliant or what? If you're so brilliant, pull something useful out of that hat. Like about 8,000 Marines? I'll do better than that. Don't you guys remember, Dungeon Master said sometimes our strongest ally is our worst enemy. Our worst enemy is Venger. I'll just call him here and... You what? No, no! The, the, the Dungeon Master said sometimes, Presto, sometimes! That doesn't mean now! Hey, there's no time like the present. I 
Abracadani. Hey, Nani Nani. Well, that should do it. Vendor will be here any minute. Where? Right here. Don't you think I... Yeah! You have invaded the Castle Avenger. And the penalty is... Wait, I, I, I'm here to help you. Help me? What trickery is this? No, no trick, honest. You gotta stop Kellick. He got a big thing with 2011 hands and swipes horns off a unicorn and says he can even beat you at... Stop! <laughs> Kellick, you say? Now, begin at the beginning. <laughs> The strongest shall be last. Again! This is even dumber than Presto's idea. And where did he go anyway? Shut up and do it! Now! Just what is this little trick supposed to get us? It's our fault Silvermane's here. Maybe this trick gets him back. And maybe it gets us zapped by Kellek. It does indeed. Sorry, Hank. We tried. A noble effort. Also your last. Now you shall trouble me no longer. Come! Guys, here where I've been. Presto, duck! Huh? How did you do that? I didn't. He did. Vendor! Greetings, Kellek. Do forgive my intrusion? Of course. Of course, what? Of course, Master. That is better. I must thank you, Kellek, for keeping the unicorn horns. For keeping them safe for me. Kellek, release the spell. Kellek! As you wish, Master. Somebody's getting in trouble. Release the spell, Kellek. Of course, Master! The horns are mine! The power is mine! Now you shall call me Master! Indeed. Now's our chance! Let's get out of here! No way! These little guys are too weak to run, and they need their horns back now. Just what are you gonna do, glue them on? Nope, magic. Abra, come here, all the horns appear. <laughs> Guess it takes more magic to put them back on than to take them off. You dummy, Dungeon Master said you only have to replace one. And I quote, the fate of one is shared by all. <laughs> Stuff that in your hat. Much as I hate to say it, Mr. Mouth is right. Okay, Abra Karuni, give the horn back to Uni. Hey, look at this! <laughs> Why? Listen. <laughs> The castle's sinking back down! Of course, with Kellogg gone, his castle is going with him. And now, the unicorns are mine. What a rat! What a creep! What's the fastest way out of here? Get on the unicorns! They can teleport us out! <laughs>
Diana, there goes one happy little unicorn. Yep, leaving behind one unhappy little boy. Bobby, we have to go. We've got to keep looking for the way home. I won't leave without Uni. Bobby, what if she wants to stay? But I love Uni. She's got to come. She just got to. Come on, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> Gee, do you think Uni will really stay with Presto? Shh. I can cut it out. Come on, get out of here. For the last time, we... Sheila, this is all your fault. Why'd you have to bring these little puppies? Dungeon Master said they'd grow up to make great guardians for the unicorns. Can I help it if they love your feet? Okay. Are you kidding? I've never felt better in my whole life. Hey, Bobby, you need some help? Nah, she's not heavy. Whoa, will you watch it with that horn? One word out of you, Eric, and pal. Hank, you don't have the faintest idea where we're going. Dungeon Master said we'd find a clue to help us get home in the forest with no trees. Dungeon Master's an airhead. How can you have a forest with no trees? Who knows what he really meant? That's it. You said the magic word, Presto. I did? It's not in O no, it's K N O W no. No trees. Trees that know. Oh, that's ridiculous. Trees don't know anything. I beg your pardon. Oh? Sounds like the young cavalier has met his first no tree. <laughs> Come, my young adventurers are in need of some assistance. <laughs> Dear me, buddy whoops. <laughs> I haven't done this in years. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten how much fun this sort of thing can be. Your fun has ended, Dungeon Master. Of course I know the way out of this world. I'm a no-tree. I know everything there is to know. How do we know he knows? Ask me anything. Okay, who won the 1981 World Series? Simple, the Greywood Elves. The who? That thing doesn't know it's trunk from a hole in the ground. However, if you're referring to the 81 World Series in your world, it was the Dodgers over the Yankees, four games to two. Gosh, he really does know. If you're such a great know-it-all, how do we get out of this place? Oh dear, your friend, the Dungeon Master, is in great danger. Who cares? How do we get home? Dungeon Master in trouble? We've got to help him. Oh, brother. Hey, wait a minute. Take him to the caves. There's something moving up ahead. And up there, too. Look! Something tells me if these guys touch us, we'll get more than wards. Hello! We come in peace. A lot of good that's gonna do. It always works in the movies. So much for the movies. Time for some fireworks. Stay away from my sister, slime face. Hold this, fellas. Who are 
are those guys? Who cares? Pull something out of that stupid hat of yours. Quick! What should I pull out? An army tank would be nice. Uh, uh. Ruffin, the ruffin. Here goes nothing. Ew. Giant fly. Must have been something rotten in my hat. The only thing rotten around here is your magic. Rotten or not, Presto's magic may just save our necks. Come on! I think we lost him. And I think we lost ourselves, too. We've got to figure out how to find the dungeon master. Oh, what for? I say we forget about that little drip and try to buy our way home. With what? Fairy dust? No! Money! You gotta be kidding. American money is useless in this world. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. The first person I see, I'm gonna make an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> Some deal. What's he saying? How should I know? He's saying that those bullywugs took away the dungeon master and he knows where they went. How did you know that? I don't know. Give me a break. We're gonna listen to fairies now? We have no choice, Eric. Dungeon master may need our help. Lead on. <laughs> Time you got here. Time I have plenty of. What have you got? I've got a jewel for the crown of your master. <gasps> is he? No. The red glow indicates a life force is still with him. Tell Venture that Dungeon Master is his for the right price. Now go. Very soon, Dungeon Master, you shall be worth ten times the trouble it took to capture you. Are you just sure he said this is the way to Dungeon Master? Sure, I'm sure. I think. Say, uh, how, how far down is it, Presto? I don't know. I haven't looked. Well? Uh, nothing to worry about, Eric. If we fall, we won't hit the bottom. Oh, good. Because there isn't one. We'll have to turn back. Wait a minute. We can't give up yet. What would Dungeon Master do in a situation like this? Huh. Disappear. He says all we have to do is fly to the other side. In case he hadn't noticed, we don't have wings. No, but maybe Presto can conjure up some. Gee, I don't think so, Sheila. Lately, my hocus pocus has been out of focus. Give it a try, Presto. You can do it. Okay. Abracum, dabracum. Whoa! Nice trick. Hey, look! My hat's coming back. That's not all that's coming back. Ouch. Take cover. Cover? What cover? Hey! Bobby! I knew we shouldn't listen to that fairy. They're gonna drop us. I don't believe it. They're friendly. Dungeon Master, close. He says Dungeon Master isn't far. Let's go. Dungeon Master, in there. Sure he's in there? That cave looks like it's alive. Ew. And something tells me it doesn't brush between meals. We owe it to Dungeon Master to go in there and help him. Wrong. I don't owe that little runt a thing. No way I'm going in there. I'm finding my own way out of this nightmare. Oh, Eric, wait! Don't worry. If I find a way home, I'll send help. The Marines. I hope we don't regret this. I regret it already. What was that? I don't know. It 
felt like the walls were moving. Maybe it's friendly. Maybe not. Presto, see if you can whip up a spell that'll stop that thing. Come on, Dad. Abracum, Zabracum. Oh, sorry. with us. Lord, want to welcome you. Did you hear that? He wants to welcome us. For a minute there, I thought we were in trouble. Where exactly are you welcoming us to? To the slave mines of Theramorn. Where else? We're in trouble. <gasps> bad as they look. There must be someone around this mud pit that can help me. There's someone! But, excuse me! I wonder if you... Yes. Dungeon Master. Unlikely. I saw him. You saw him? Warduk says Dungeon Master is yours for the right price. The right price? Warduk has either become very brave or very stupid. However, I've waited many years for Dungeon Master to make this mistake. I will see to it that it's his last. Gosh, my man 
Magic Club works better than this. What I wouldn't give to see Dungeon Master's wrinkly little face right now. Say Dungeon Master, did you? Uh, yeah. You know him? No, him I don't. Know where he is, I do. You gotta tell us. Yeah, he'll rescue us. Rescue you, he will not. Unless him you rescue first. But how? Tell you I will. But promise me first, my people, you will free. Sure, sure. You got a deal. Now, where is he? On the other side of this wall, he is. Ah, it'll take us 200 years to dig through that. Not with our weapons. Yeah, but how do we get him away from those slobs? <laughs> Anyone? Well, I'd pay a thousand dollars for a taxi cab right now. Oh, yeah. Uni. Good idea, Uni. Give me five seconds, then act really crazy. What? Not that bad. The life force has left him, and for you, the game is over. I didn't mean to step in your nest, honest! Oh! Give me those weapons. Now! Okay, we're giving, we're giving. Ah! What? Go for it. <laughs> Eric, I thought you left us. Me? You kidding? I wouldn't leave you guys behind. Don't let them get away. <laughs> Looking for me? Try something. Anything. Right. Well, Manish, come here. I hope this spell gets us out of here. <laughs> yeah. Prepare to meet your doom, young one. Not without a fight. Good morning. Dungeon Master. He's alive. I wonder if he's got a riddle that covers this. Your life force is stronger than I suspected, old one. As it should be. But not strong enough. Dungeon Master, look out! Evil energy is like evil thoughts. Change its direction, and it changes to good. 
Your power has grown weak and feeble, old man. Harry, he will regain his form in a short time. Wait, I almost forgot about bringing the dwarves. Come on! Quickly, we have no time to waste. Dungeon Master, look! <laughs> oh my! There's too many of them! You'll never stop all of them. Not to worry, you won't have to. Unless he wanted them to. <laughs> How come you don't use your power all the time? Yeah, like to get us out of here. The answer does not rest within one's power. It rests within oneself. Oh, brother, that's deep. Looking for you. Ah, nothing like a stroll over hot lava to soothe the feet. Yeah, well, I wish you'd soothe my nerves and tell us how to get out of this crazy world. <laughs> That's precisely why I've come, Cavalier. I've discovered a way for all of you to get back home. Home? You mean like no more dragons or nine-eyed monsters? Well, what are you waiting for, Dungeon Master, old buddy? Just point the way so we can get out of this dump. I'm afraid it's not that easy. I knew it. There's always a catch. Not a catch. A river. You must find the river that rains upside down. The what? I think his brains are upside down. Once a year, for only 60 seconds, the waters of this mystical river flow up into the sky. They will take you wherever you want to go. So where will we find this river? Just follow that path. But beware. You must never touch the beauty that breathes the beast. Beauty that breathes the beast? What is that? Cinderella with bad breath? He's gone. Well, I'm not taking one step until he comes back and explains that stupid riddle. You can wait here if you want to, Eric, but we're going to find that river that rains upside down. River that <gasps> rains upside down. Ooh! Look! Oh, great! Which way do we go now? Whichever path we take will be the wrong one. Then let's take them both! Good thinking, Bobby. I'll go with Eric and Pesto down that path. And we'll take the other. Come on! Are you sure we're still on the path, Hank? The only thing I'm sure of is that I'm not sure of anything. It's a metal wall. What's it doing out here in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. But I don't like the look of this. <laughs> Bobby the Barbarian, and who are you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
That bright blue is Steve Garvey number on your nose. I crush you like fly. Magic bow, don't fail me now. We'll get a nice suntan. Do you think this might be that river that rains upside down? Well, I'm upside down, and it's not raining. Quit clowning, Presto. Hey, guys, look at this. What is it? The prettiest flower I've ever seen. You think this is a beauty? You should see my mom's garden back home. This is nothing. Eric, wait a minute. Did you say beauty? Yeah, what of it? Remember what Dungeon Master said? Beware of beauty that frees the beast. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me. It's a good thing for you nothing happened. <gasps> what are you guys staring at? <laughs> <laughs> Some friends you are. <gasps> Just because I've got a little <clears throat> frog in my throat is nothing to laugh about. I've got to get some water. <laughs> Worps. Yay! A monster! Oh, it was hideous! <clears throat> Quick! We've got to get out of here! <clears throat> uh, relax, Eric. Relax? Are you nuts? We've got to split before <clears throat> it gets us! <laughs> Don't worry. It's not going to get us. It already got you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Huh? No! It, it's not <gasps> possible! I, I'm disgusting! <laughs> what am I going to do? I can't go around looking <gasps> like this! Why not? <laughs> Come on, Presto. Eric's got a real problem here. This isn't <gasps> funny! Sure it is. I mean, you're right. It's not funny. <laughs> it's disgusting! <laughs> Come on, Presto. <gasps> Change me back to me. <gasps> but uh, I don't know if I can. Could you at least <gasps> try? <gasps> Please? OK. Uh, Nymphs of Lizard, Ear of Elf, please make Eric look like himself. Well, that's different. I'll tear you apart, Presto. I'll, I'll, I swear I'll tear you apart. Relax. I'm just warming up. Abracazim! Abracadoo! Make me a potion that I'll know what to do! Hey! I did it! Give me that! Yuck! What was that? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. I'll try again. Put that hat back on before you kill me! There must be a way to... <gasps> huh? I see you did not heed my warning. Oh, Dungeon Master. Am I <gasps> glad to see you? Change me back, <gasps> please. I did not create this spell, Cavalier. Therefore, I cannot undo it. However, I can tell you, if you do not undo the spell soon, you will remain a bog beast forever. Forever? A bog beast? <gasps> Is that what I am? <gasps> a bog beast? Oh, no! There is one way to undo the spell, and that way will be found in what you dislike the most. This is no time for... <gasps> Riddles, where is he? I hate looking like this. Not to mention sounding like this. That's it. What you dislike the most is being a bog beast. Yeah, so maybe if we find some more <laughs> ugly guys like you, we can break the spell. 
There's got to be water around here somewhere. Look, there's water. <laughs> Sorry, Uni. It was only a mirage. Mirage? If I don't find something to drink soon, I'm gonna dry up and blow away. Hey, what's up? Maybe it's trying to point out where the water is. I think you're right, Bobby. I think you're wrong, Bobby. Bo's never let me down before. Well, there's always a first time. Sheila, help! Whoa! We're surrounded. Yeah, but by what? <laughs> Who cares? Wait till I get through with them. Hold it. Let's see what they want. I don't think they want our lunch money. <laughs> Me friendly. If you're so friendly, how come you scared us? Not scaring, fishing. You in fishing water. You evil cowamong sent you to scare fish away. Cowamong? Who's he? He bad. He dam up river, make fish go away, make bug beast family go hungry. But why? Cowamong want to be rid of bug beast forever. But there are so many of you. Why not just climb for the guy? I think that's your answer. Dungeon Master was wrong. I don't think anything in this world looks as bad as you. Cut it out, will you? If we don't find those Bogby soon, I'll look like this forever. Hey! I think I found something that looks worse than Eric. Oh! Oh! Hey! I'm sinking! There must be something you can do to stop this Kawamung character. We stop Kawamung as soon as our leader come. Who's your leader? Him legend. Sacred scrolls say him like us, but not like us. Say him drop from sky, lead us to victory over Kawamong. Something tells me these guys are about as smart as they are handsome. Whoa! Diana, Presto! Hi, hey, Eric. Our leader has come. Now, these guys know a born leader when they see one. <gasps> what am I saying? What am I seeing? Eric, is that you? Yep. <gasps> it's me. You leader. Don't touch me, you disgusting beast. We're ready. You lead us to victory over Kalamang. <gasps> What's he talking about? They expect you to conquer the evil ogre that's damming up the river. Well, forget it. Tell him to call the Department of Water and Power. Well, we can't just let these guys starve. Besides, they might be able to lead us to the river that rains upside down. This is river that rain upside down. It is? Great. We can help the bog beast and still find our way home. 
I can't go home looking <gasps> like this. I'll leave your army of bog beasts if you find a way to change <gasps> me back to normal. Normal? You normal now. Oh, brother. Brother. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> Some army. How are we gonna beat this guy with a bunch of <gasps> losers like this? You take medallion away. Kawamung have no power without medallion. Holy moly! That dude looks real mean. <gasps> it looks like Kawamung has dammed up the water to power some sort of factory. And he's got those dwarf slaves making all kinds of weapons for him. He's probably getting ready to attack the bog beasts. We'll give him a little surprise attack of our own. Eric, tell your Bog Beast friends. They're not my friends. Okay, okay. Just tell them to keep quiet until we need them. Sheila, you remember what to do? Right. Oh, sorry, you. Oh. Master, I want those weapons done so we can drive the Bog Beasts out of the valley for good. Guess again, Cowerman. Who said that? your ugliness. Thanks, Kawamung. Now that your magic's gone, perhaps you'll let the bog beasts live in peace. Stupid fool. This is the real magic medallion. I think Hank's in trouble. Let's go! All right, men. Uh, beasts, forward! <gasps> Oh! <gasps> what am I doing? Not even an army of bog beasts could scare Karamo. I've got it! And I've got you! seconds to make it out of this rotten place. <gasps> I'm... I'm... still a... 
bug bees. I can't spend the rest of my life <gasps> looking like <gasps> this. Quick, the magic warp is only going to stay open for a few more seconds. If you go back, you'll never be able to come back through. <gasps> We'll be lost back there without us. Well, what do we do? I wonder what it'll be like alone. Do not be alone, brother. No. Guy, you came back. We couldn't just leave you here all alone. Don't remind me. I'll probably have to look this way forever. I'm sure you will. Look! It's me! I'm not a bog beast anymore! I'm back to my normal great-looking self! Ah! Dungeon Master, I'm back to normal! I'm back to normal! Naturally. What do you mean, naturally? I told you the answer would be found in what you dislike the most. Of course! Eric hates this world more than anything. Precisely. And this world is the key to the magic of the medallion. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry I messed up your chance to get home. That's okay, Eric. There'll be other chances. Right, Dungeon Master? He's gone! They're not. We come to thank Great Leader and to say we sorry. <laughs> sorry? You mean because I didn't make it home? No, because you turned so ugly. <laughs> said to come this way, Hank? I, I'm pretty sure. But we haven't seen a village all day. Or anything to eat, either. Unless you're into eating rock burgers. I wonder what's in there. Something that moans a lot. Yeah, and probably something bigger and uglier that makes it moan. There's no way home through there. Dungeon Master! Quite correct, Cavalier. A heartless dragon dwells in the Veil of Mists, and there is no portal to your world. Ha! What did I tell you? Even he agrees with me. However, when oh. the dragon's heart is in the right place, it may show you the way home. What in the world does that mean? Yeah, Dungeon Master, oh. what? Oh, no, he's gone. And I think we should follow his example. But I'm obviously in the minority. We're gonna regret this, kid. You'll see. All right, Eric, I'm sure. Wow, this fog's thicker than peanut butter. Shh, hold it down. Whatever it is, we don't want it to know we're here. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! So much for sneaking in. <laughs> Where are we? Dungeon Master told us about. Yeah, and get a load of them. Orcs? Venger must have something to do with this. So tired. I can't work anymore. Oh. Get up, gnome. No resting. Oh, I can't. There will be no rest until you have mined all the mystic gems for Venger. Let him alone, you big nerds! Bobby! You big bozo! Stop him! Stop the intruder! No, leave me! You have no 
chance against all of them. You dwarf, I need help! Uh, right! Kabibu uh, Kazip, send that orc on a trip! <laughs> oh well, close enough. Stop them! Now, now, temper, temper! Come on, let's get out of here! No, let me go! Let me go! What's wrong? We just saved your life! Yeah, you might show a little gratitude. You don't understand. The valley is under Venger's spell. No gnome may leave the valley and live. Maybe Presto's magic can lift the spell. Yeah, uh, right, and maybe you can lift a dump truck. Only the spellbinder Lukion can break the spell. His magic protected our valley for centuries. Where can we find this spellbinder? Haven't we done enough volunteer work for one day? No one can find Lukian. When he refused to tell Venger the secret of the dragon's heart, Venger imprisoned him in the Swamp of Sorrow. Wait! Dragon's heart! Dungeon Master said that would show us the way to get home! Ah. Huh? You've got to tell us where this swamp is! To the south, beyond the forest. And now... I must return to face my punishment. We'll be back, honest, as soon as we find Lokion. Right, Bobby. Come on, let's get going. Then the young ones helped this slave try to escape. Have mercy, Great Venger. I returned here willingly to serve you. What did you tell the young humans? Did you speak of Lokion? Or the secret of the dragon's heart? I do not know the secret, Great Venger. I said only that Lukian is your prisoner and that no one could uh, find him. Yet they have set out to search for him? Yes. Return the slave to his work. Yes, Master. Shadow Demon! Yes, Highness? You will go to the Swamp of Sorrow and find the young ones. If they locate Lukian, he may tell them the secret of the dragon. You will report it to me at once. As you wish. And if they don't find the Spellbinder? Then the Swamp shall claim them. And you will collect their weapons for me. Gnome gave us a bum steer. Not even Venger would build a prison in a mud hole like this. It'd sink right into the slime. Your reasoning is sound, Cavalier. No one would build a prison here. You agree with me? Twice in one day? Indeed. For Lucian dwells in the saddest prison of all. A prison without walls. Huh? What kind of prison doesn't have walls? Yeah, Dungeon Master. That doesn't make any... Ah, oh, rats. He's gone again. Yeah, maybe he went home to his little dungeon without floors or something. Huh? Oh, great! Help! Pull harder! It, oh. it won't let go! <gasps> Sheila! Oh, no! We're surrounded! The toadstools don't get us. That muck monster will. Oh! Oh! Huh? Oh! Wow, neat. He's on our side. Oh! 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 Oh!
ugly and smelly could be on our side. What are you waiting for? Shoot! It saved our lives, Eric. Maybe it doesn't mean us any harm. Yeah, I bet you believe in the Tooth Fairy, too. Shoot, will you? It's feeding off the arrow's energy. It's getting bigger. This is terrible. You walking weed? Ah! Ew! It's oozing all over me, like like the blob. Ah! Help! Well, hang on, Eric. I'll find something in here too. Huh? Weed killer? That's no good. Presto, wait! That thing is sort of like a plant. Maybe it's worth a try. Ah! Here goes. Ah! Well, whatever that thing was, it's gone. But we still haven't found Lukion's prison without walls. And we won't get any closer standing here. Come on. I'm tired. Can we stop and rest? Yeah. I'm getting slapped at. And I'm beginning to think we'll never find Lukion. You want to spare my young adventurers? You are closer to finding Lukian than you think. But how will we know him? By what he says without speaking. What's he gonna do, whistle? You must find him quickly, during the crossing of the Four Suns tomorrow. For that is the only time Lukian can help you. Dungeon Master? Where'd he go? <laughs> I'm really confused now. What's confusing? We just find the heart of the prison and the dragon that speaks without walls, and we're home free. It's simple. Yuck! What is this creepy place? You mean, what was this creepy place? Do you think this could be the prison without walls? I don't know. They sure doesn't look like a prison to me. I think it's just gross. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, not so fast. I could use a little rest before we march back into the muck. <laughs> Good idea, Eric. Take a load off your brains. Very funny. <laughs> My bed! You can have it! You can have it! A zombie! Eric needs help! <laughs> An earthquake? <gasps> yeah! Hurry! Let's blow this dump while we've got the chance! Oh no! Mr. Muckball again! again. Well, stay back. We don't want to have to hurt you. Careful, Hank. Don't give him too big a scare. Wait a minute. Are you nuts? Dungeon Master said we'd know Lukion by what he spoke without words. Well, his actions speak without words. He saved us. Twice. You gotta be kidding. That is, is Lukion? I think it wants us to follow. You're not gonna trust a mound of killer crabgrass, are you? Outvoted again. He wants to show us something. Wow, it's magic stuff. I bet this is Lucian's. See? I told you! He probably ate Lukion and kept his stuff! Yeah! Wow! 
wise up, Eric. Benjer must have changed Lukeon into this creature. Trapped in this form, he can't say any magic words, and he can't work any spells. He's in a, a prison without walls. Right. <laughs> oh, gross. That gem is beating li like a heart. <laughs> the heart of the dragon. <laughs> to work a spell to change you back? <laughs> oh, what if I from it? I might turn you into a bullywug or something. You've got to try, Presto. Lukeon's our only hope to free the gnomes from Vinger. And for us to find a way home. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Brother, what's next? Card tricks? Look, can you tell us how to get home or not? The secret you seek lies within the heart of the dragon. We'll see once my fellow gnomes have been set free. Venger may have something to say about that, Lucian. March to work! To work! Lucian! And the young ones! You are free, my friends! Lucian! You kept your promise! We can never thank you enough! Oh, yes, you can! <sighs> Just show us the way home! Yes! The time is right! The four suns are about to converge. So that's why it's called the Heart of the Dragon. Look! A giant map! Of the whole universe! Oh! It is that and much more. Each point of light is a gateway to another world. So, point us to our gateway and get us out of here already. I'll have no further need for you, Lucian, or your nobles. Lucian, you've got to stop them. They'll crush the village. And now to be rid of you, Lucian, once and for all. in here that'll help. Hey, Eric, a cannon. So what? You're gonna point it at him and say bang? Huh? Conjure up a cannonball, Airhead! Oh, yeah, right. Oh, no, ball bearings. Ah! Whoa! No one won't stop him! Well, we gotta try something. Surrender, Spellbinder. I return to the swamp. And let you live. Never! Did you see that, Eric? Lucian turned Benjamin's own magic against him. Scared. 
skip the play-by-play, -play, presto! Just buy the cannonball, please! <laughs> I guess we don't need the cannonball, eh, Eric? There's still one small problem. Avenger! Wow! Is Venger gone for good, Lukeon? Alas, no, Barbarian. His own power and that of the Dragon's Heart have banished him only for the moment. Well, at least we won't be around when he gets back. You're gonna show us the way home, right? I'm afraid I cannot. What? The gemstone whose light led to your world was there. Oh, no. There is no way the gemstone can help you now. We are grateful for your help, and sorry we can't help you in return. You're sorry? After the throne, without without walls and the zombies and the home? What do you know about sorry? That's enough, Eric. Let's go. I wonder if we'll ever find a way out of this world. You will one day, magician. With each brave deed, you grow more worthy. You will be rewarded in time. In time for what? Our retirement? Patience, Cavalier. Patience.